Welcome to What's Happening. I'm your host today, Paula Hersey, and we're here with a very special event, Jeans and Jewels Jubilee. This is to benefit the Cape Cod Center for Women, and with me today is Diane Pratt, who will be talking about the Cape Cod Center for Women. So let, Diane, welcome to the show. Thank you, Paula. And why don't you tell us a little bit about the Cape Cod Center for Women? Absolutely, the Cape Cod Center for Women is the only emergency domestic violence shelter on Cape Cod and the islands for women and children fleeing domestic violence. The only shelter. Um, I know there's other organizations that deal with abuse and, and domestic violence, but you're a, a full service shelter as well for families as well as just the individual that might be under violence? We are. We take in usually moms with children. Um, we have a safe house that we operate and we can have right now four families at a time. We are hoping to expand in the near future. Hence the jeans and jewels jubilee, and I love the title. So, do I get to wear my jeans and my jewels? You do, <laughs> absolutely. It sounds like fun. It is. Um, it's kind of a different take. Um, we don't really call it a gala. We call it a jubilee. There will be a live auction. There will be a silent auction. We're um, actually going to honor D. A. Michael O'Keefe with the okay. Beacon of Hope Award for all of the work that he's done to combat domestic violence. Um, we will have a couple of MC. Maybe you've heard of them, Kevin Matthews and Matt Pitter. Um, <laughs> the guys, I love the them. The guys, so they're going to be my auctioneers and my MCs. Nice. Um, and people will show up in jeans and jewels and gowns and tiaras and anything goes. Anything goes. Well, that's kind of neat because, you know, I like the, the casualness of the jeans, but I also like to wear the jewels on occasion, <laughs> so marrying the two is really great. So this benefits the Cape Cod Center for Women. What do you hope to do when you raise funds for the, the center? You talked about expansion, but there must be so many other things that the Cape Cod Center for Women needs. There are. Right now, when the um, families come into our shelter, usually they're coming from the hospital or the court or oh. from another shelter and sometimes they arrive in the middle of the night with nothing but the clothes that they have on their backs. So we provide a holistic approach. We give them everything basically that they need. They pay nothing. Um, so we're housing them, we're giving them food, we get them clothing, we help them with career opportunities. If they don't have any high school education, we help them get into a GED program. Oh, um, we have moms that come in who have never written a a checkbook or gone to the grocery store. They don't oh. know how to cook for their families. So we basically have to start at ground zero and work right. with the moms and the children. Uh, we get all the services that they need, whether it be medical, dental, um, psychological, um, we bring in the social workers. Um, so it, it's a holistic approach to the whole problem of domestic violence. That's wonderful. You mentioned the uh, Beacon of Hope Award. Can you give us a little background on that? I know that um, uh, the DA, uh, Michael O'Keefe, has, has been a champion of domestic violence, um, really literally his whole career. But the Beacon of Hope Award, what, what where did that come from? Well, it's a brand new award. We've okay. never given out an, an, an honoree before at our sure. event. So this year, we wanted to do something a little bit different. And if you've noticed on some of our brochures and everything, it's called a beacon of hope. Mm -hmm. That's our motto, and there's our beacon. Yeah. So we decided that we would we wanted to present uh, Mr. O'Keefe with the Beacon of Hope Award for all yeah. that he's done. That's excellent. So when is the event? I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> <laughs> it's Saturday, March 14th okay. at the Seacrest Hotel in North Ooh, Falmouth from great. 6 p.m. till 10 p.m. And so dinner dancing, apps and dancing, Apps and dancing, um, heavy hors d'oeuvres, carving stations. We okay. have the Ad Hoc All Stars, which is a band coming in, band members from all across the country. Um, George Lilly um, is one of the band oh members. My and so he's bringing his whole group in. Um, so there will be a whole lot of dancing, a whole lot of eating. Um, <laughs> we will have a silent auction and um, a very quick live auction. and we 
also were going to have one of our survivors speak and tell her story. Oh my goodness. Now when you talk uh, auction and live auction, do you have some of those sneak peeks for our viewers? Well, what might I, they be bidding I, on? I can tell you a little bit. There okay. will be jewelry, there will be artwork. Um, you know, we have the African Safari, Tuscany Villa, a trip to Antigua, wow. um, a villa in Cancun. Um, I think we have a federal condo. I think we're Hill looking condo. for all of those trips <laughs> off of the, the, the frozen sandbar. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's fantastic. And you must have some sponsors um, for this event. There, it's so hard to put on an event without the um, public-private partnership. Do you have some folks you want to shout out to today? We do. Um, we have TD Bank. We have Cape Cod 5. We have Cape Cod Aggregates. Um, Kathy and Rob Bilotis. Um, so we do have um, Tammy Glavinsky and Associates. So, oh, we love Tammy. Yeah, so we, we do have a lot of local sponsors, but we're still right. looking for more, okay. and we're still looking for some auction items. Okay. How can people get in touch with you if they want to do an auction item or to purchase tickets? They can call the office at 774-763-2222 okay. or go on our website, capecodshelter.org. CapeCutShelter.org. Well, that's fantastic. I know that the Seacrest, um, they do a wonderful event, and uh, the chef up there is to die for. I mean, he he does some really great stuff. The uh, heavy apps ought to be uh, quite interesting. Yes, and he's put together a wonderful menu just for us, so we're excited. That's excellent. So March 14th at the Seacrest Hotel, what time does it start? 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. 6 p.m., and it's Jeans and Jewels, Jubilee. I love the name of it. Diane, thanks for coming in today and talking to us about this. I'd love to have you back and uh, we'll talk more about the Cape Cod Center for Women and maybe uh, um, see what else we can do to collaborate to help you. Thank you so much, Paul. It was a pleasure. Okay. Thank you for joining us at What's Happening. I'm Paula Hersey. Okay. Thanks for joining us for What's Happening. I'm your host, Paula Hersey, and please go to the Cape Cod Center for Women's website and see if you'd like to go to the Jeans and Jewels Jubilee.